Yeah. What is it? Three bank robbers fought the job at the city first national. Right now they're holed up in a sporting club, the Red 55. That's between fifth and... Yeah, I know where the Red 55 is. But it's not the kind of place I like to hang around in. Sorry, Captain. Don't be an ass, Malone. You've got hostages. All right, I'll be right there. already killed a hostage, sir. What do you want me to do? Uh -huh. Yes, sir, right. Yeah, I've called in Malone. He's on his way over. Should be here in a minute or so. He's here now. He's moving. They won't move until I've talked to one of us. You're elected. The chief says we have to negotiate. We have to accept all their conditions. Don't forget it. Robert, I don't want any other victims. A word to the wise, huh? say this once. We want two million dollars in unmarked used bills. Nothing smaller than tens and nothing bigger than fifties. No consecutive serial numbers. We want a limo to take us to the airport and a plane to take us to Mexico. You boys behave yourself and you'll get all these good folks back in one piece. Understand that, cop? No way, pal. <laughs> Just great, Malone. You did it your way as usual. I gave you an order. You were sent in here to negotiate, weren't you? Accept all their demands. No more victims. They are scum. Human garbage.
great steak. Well, a great Windsor for deserves no less. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you going out again? Mm-hmm. You know it. I wish I were as attractive as four and a half square feet of canvas. <clears throat> really? Well, you cook a better steak. <laughs> You will come back sometime, won't you? Sooner or later. I know what I think about that camper. Should I try to guess, Hopkins? It's meant just for us. Mm -hmm. broken it off with Alice, haven't you? Stop right there, don't move. Elise, quit trying to change the subject. Jill, we have a job to do. Or do you think I should use these flash bulbs in an interrogation room? I know he does it out of love, but... Yeah. I'm very fond of him, too. But right now, I need peace and quiet. Only it doesn't work with him. You know, success didn't come overnight for me. I worked my tail off. And it's hard to stay on top. But I'll hold on. When another photographer is mentioned in a column, I know I still have a lot of fighting to do. I've got to concentrate on nothing but my job. I mean it. There's no hope. I suppose that's enough work for tonight. We'll finish this off tomorrow. Aren't you leaving too, Elise? No. I've got to get a few things ready for tomorrow. Okay. So long. So long. Jill, would you turn the light out as you leave, please? Sure. Who's there? Who's that? 
Did you too? Hi. Hope I didn't scare you. <sighs> you didn't scare me, Alan. But you gotta stop this power game. Don't you listen to the radio? The whole city is terrorized. All the things that are going on, and you, you play hide-and-seek at 11 p.m. You're the one who's playing hide-and-seek with me. My sister's not very good at lying. She never was. Just like you, keeping bargains. I just came by to bring you this. You left it. And because I just can't go on without seeing you. The fault isn't mine. My God, I just can't get you out of my head. Listen, Alan. Let's try to find a compromise. We'll talk often on the phone, all the time. But don't you go back on your word. Sure. We always wind up doing what you want anyway. matter, little girl? The sight of blood bother you? What seems to be the matter, They're murderers. Lady? They're trying to get me. They're murderers. She took my picture. That bitch took shots. She better be taken care of soon, I think. You don't think. 
You don't do any thinking, none at all. You listen. Do something, for God's sake. Arrest him or they'll kill me. Please help me, please. All right, come on. Okay, okay, okay. I hear you, Purvis. Time to eat. Mm, red can again. Okay, you got it. Oh, shit. I'm in trouble. Okay, okay, I hear you. Didn't I have a cat that was colorblind? We'll try the blue. Hey, we eat service. I found one. Mm -hmm. I can eat it myself. Mm -hmm. This is something else, Purvis. Red label. Hmm. Good, huh? Better eat it all, because if you don't, I will. Yeah, Malone. Robert, you can get your tail here in the office. I need to speak to you. Okay. What is it this time? Shut the door and come in. I hope this is important. I left my cat at home, and he's alone. Well? What we have tonight is another murder. But this time we have someone who saw it. A girl called Elise Trumbull. About to enter her house an hour ago, witnessed her neighbor being killed. Smart girl. She got out of it, setting off her little camera flash and blinding one of those hoods. Temporarily, worse luck. Anyway, she escaped in her car, and our pals took after her in their Jeep camper. I'm betting that that car was the same one that was stolen down at the beach. Alone, you know that double homicide, too. It was committed with just that M.O. My opinion, there's no doubt about it. It's obviously the same gang of nutcases we've been after all this time. But there's one important difference. A picture exists now of one of their heads, a portrait. That's worth leaving your cat for, isn't mm -hmm. it? Come in. Ah, here are the prints back from the lab. Thanks, Mallard. Oh, no. What a, what a damn disaster. The flash went off too close. Can't use a single one of these. That's all we needed. I thought it was too good to be true. Wait a minute. In any case, those hoods are sure to try to take out that girl. Robert, from now on, you're going to be right next to Elise Trumbo. And you're going to stick to her like glue. Where is she now? At City Hospital. She's still in a state of shock. We left a cop there to uh, keep an eye on her. But she'll be out tomorrow, and you've got to stick with her. Even though his honor will howl like a wolf.
Oh. operating. This crap is for weak kids. Little boys who need to work up guts. It's not you guys. It's not you guys, it's the system. It does us all in. And that's what we're trying to fight against. blood and not just anyone's you know that just to the people who don't ever have to work for things who have it all okay what's the news the girl's still there in the hospital in the hospital and they'll believe you got a good reason for being there. He was hit by a car. I think he's hurt bad. For God's sake, call someone.
Lady, lady, give me a break with all that noise. It's over. Enough with the tears, okay? Okay. You could have taken one of them alive, or am I wrong? Yeah, you're wrong. In this particular situation, you had to save the girl. What else? I don't need a lawyer. You're the ones that were wrong by putting only one guard outside the door. Why was there only one guard? Because someone at the precinct thought that one was enough. Looks like he wasn't thinking too well. You know, that's the problem. You're paid to think. And for both of you, that could be a little trying. Now, at this time of night, people are usually sleepy and likely to make more mistakes. You know, Malone, nobody likes you. Yeah, I know. Sometimes I don't like myself either, but that's a matter of opinion. And frankly, I couldn't give a damn about yours. All I care about is my work, to finish what I start. And I usually do. Now you asked me to protect this girl. I did. It doesn't matter how I did it. You still want me to keep an eye on her. She has to move over to my place. Well, your bunker is more like it. That's the way I like it. Let's see how Miss Trumbull feels about it first. I just can't take anymore. I don't know what's happening. I'm not in good control. Put me wherever you like. You said bunker just now. Maybe that's the only answer. Okay, Malone. Have it your way as usual. You ready to go, miss? I may be getting an exhibition. That's what you do, all that fascinating lady. Look, just making chat. We've been in the car for 20 minutes and you haven't said a thing. Oh, yeah. I didn't think you'd be such a grouch. Okay, so what do you want to talk about? I don't know what to say to you. Well, I don't really have a one-track mind. And I don't think you do. Look, I don't know anything about fashion, lady. I see. All right. Don't talk. It's not your duty. And by the way, if you don't want to protect me, I've got an idea. Have someone else called in on the case. Or next time, just let them kill me. That should take care of your little problem. I think it's about time you close your mouth. Too many stupid things are coming out of it. Give me the creeps, you know. I better get out of here. <clears throat> Come on. Let's move out. The police sergeant and the girl got to be killed. You. Go to her house and wait. 
She'll be back there sooner or later. You might see the cop coming, too. He's pretty sure to try to hide her. When you find out where, let us know about it. And no fancy tricks, right? I need you to do me a favor. I want you to run down to headquarters, pick up the books with the mud shots in them. Bring them over here. What do you need them for? Going somewhere? Who's that? It's me, darling. Who else would it be? Oh, I forgot. I'm so stupid. Uh, listen, um. Miriam. We've been introduced. Miriam. Oh, what a quick learner. You got it right the first time. Sweet Miriam. Forgive me. It's awful, but I have to go. I promise I'll be back in a flash. Okay? Hmm. I've seen some long flashes in my day. And some flashes in the pan. Mm. Will you still be here? In a hiding place. I'll find it. That's my job. I'll make it hard on you. I won't answer that. Thank you. 
Not one of these, no way. Nobody who looks at all like him. Thank you, miss. You mind coming down to headquarters with us and help make a composite this man? Of course I will. But on one condition. I'm Elise, not miss, okay? It's not much, but it's better than nothing. How do you feel today? Any better now that you've rested? Lots better, thank you. Good. Come in. Give this to the patrols and to the press. Where do you get these ideas from? You invent them all by yourself? Why? This guy thinks you have a picture of his face. You put this sketch in a newspaper, you'll know you don't have anything. He may never come out of his hole. Did you hear him? Do as Sergeant Malone says. Quick. We have something he wants. The bait. He's dying to bite. Grab a bag and pack it with some old clothes and a toothbrush. Only be a short time. Yeah, that's fine. But I'll come with you. Never know. All right, seems okay. If you want something to drink while you're waiting, help yourself. My house is yours. There's some great bourbon. Milk is more my thing. A man of a thousand virtues.
No one can tell who that's a picture of. Nick is dead, but he sure as hell didn't talk. You have to open your mouth and do it just to shove in the food I made for you. Stay on the table. We talked for a while. This is brainwashed music, it sounds. I don't know how the kids can listen to that. Daddy, you're hopeless. Those are the aha. Aha. I didn't think it was Frank Sinatra. Run away, or I'll blow your daughter's head off. Come on, back to it. Ow! Ow! your daughter alive, you get me the photo in Malone, too. Tomorrow morning, at the old power station. Tomorrow morning, Walker. And no tricks. Huh? Or we'll cut up your daughter, till she looks like a jigsaw puzzle. You too, Mel. 
Mel, thanks a lot. Okay, and don't forget to keep listening to Mel's Quiz Game every day of the week at the same time. I feel like I'm going crazy. Damned if I can see any way of getting out of this mess. Damned if I can go along with their conditions. What's your other choice? I can't ask you to go. You just get yourself killed. And I spit at myself for the rest of my life. If I were 25 years younger, by God! If you were 25 years younger, you wouldn't even have a daughter. Look, Max. I've already made up my mind. I'm going. But you can't. It's just suicide. Don't kill her anyway. Robert. I know why you're doing this for me. But it won't help. I'll just kill you, too. I'm not doing it for you. I'm just doing it. I would do it even if it was Santa Claus's daughter. Not bad for a cop's daughter, huh? Wouldn't mind tearing off a hunk of that right now. You can wait till evening. She's a little too upset to enjoy it right now. Robert never knew his parents. The man in the picture is not his father. He adopted him. He was alone, too. Old and alone. They stuck together, and uh, with all they went through, they found some kind of companionship with each other. Until one day when the walls of Jericho came crashing down. Robert was just a kid then, still in school. One morning, two drunks robbed and killed the old man. Yeah, you heard me. For seven lousy dollars. Robert survived somehow, but after that, something was different inside him. After he did his stint in Vietnam, where he won every medal in the book, he came back and joined the police force. He's not a bad guy. His battle against crime goes back a long way. Sometimes I think nothing else means a thing to him. If I could just, if I could get a beat on him, on that type of man, I'd give a lot to understand him. What did Walker want this time, Robert? What's so important? Hmm? I don't like the sound of your silence, pal. Come on. 
Do you mind if I get something too? Otherwise, I'll just look like I'm going fishing. You gonna give me some cartridges? Or do I use popcorn? Don't go out. Don't open the door for anyone. Take care of her, Purvis. Is that thing ready? It's out in the car. Get something to eat. You're losing weight. If I get bored, I know where to come for excitement. Thank you. See you around. Bye. Emergency situation, 87th and 2nd. Emergency situation, 87th and 2nd. All cars in the vicinity proceed there immediately. On my way.
there'll be a bit of a wait. I'll be at the bar. Passion, but I'm sure you've been quite successful. Uh huh. You've been doing a little research, haven't you? I can't believe I'm able to relax, Robert. I actually went and did some work this morning, and it actually turned out okay. I was amazed. Robert. Robert. In this whole business, you know where the biggest surprise came? When you invited me out. You gotta eat sometimes. Besides, it gives me a chance to get dressed up. <laughs> but your problems might not be over yet. Wait till you see my face when I get the check. <laughs> as long as you don't think you can get away with just one date, Mr. Malone. Next time it's dinner at my place. Do you like Mexican food? Robert. Robert, what's with you? Hmm? Hmm? Oh, oh, nothing, nothing. I thought I saw someone I recognized. Well, anyway, I hate to be forward. But I'd hate even more if I didn't speak up. I think if we managed to have fun even over this last week, we should seriously consider seeing more of each other. Uh, Robert, are you listening to me? Oh, sure, sure, I'm listening. It's just that uh, I never did talk a lot, even when I was a kid. I always preferred action to words. So I see. Have a good trip. I like to see you taking a few days of vacation. You have so many that you never took that you could retire right now. <laughs> yeah, I've been wanting to go back there for a long time. Maybe there's still something left at that old gas station. I hope at least you'll find your memories. <laughs> Stop there, don't move. For my album, nobody will know, okay? When will we see you again? Hmm, I don't know. Not too long. Okay. Bon voyage, police officer. <laughs> Goodbye, miss. One more. Hold it. 
Oh. 